about Edward? She said our Edward. 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 Start with Christina. Hi. I'm Christina, so Christina Hobbs, so I'm one half of Christina Lauren. I'm Lauren Billings, and the other half of Christina Lauren. I'm Cressley Cole. I'm Alice Clayton. I'm the half of Alice Clayton. <laughs> I'm the other half of Alice Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are here for Comic Con, mm -hmm. and you're doing all kinds of fun, exciting panels that have to do with erotica. Or why are your books here for Comic Con? Explain it to me. It's a point their pop culture and pop has become more about pop culture. Yeah. But I do feel in the last few years in the industry for all of us I've been going here, like it's just, you see more of a romance presence. Mm -hmm. You know? It's Definitely. much more prevalent in pop culture, it's much more prevalent in Comic Con. I think it's like slowly like seeping into the convention center. The ladies. Cool. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. Yeah. We love when romance is seeping. It is. <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> So how would you say that erotic has changed in the past 10 years, or what have you seen kind of the trends? In the past I wonder if Chris will answer this. She's been writing this stuff for 12 years. As soon as you said that, I was thinking, well, I'm glad nobody's asking me next. What's going on with it? I, I didn't really read erotica. I mean, I guess I'm kind of writing erotica with a parallel bent. It's pretty sexy, but I wouldn't consider it erotica. Mm -hmm. Just romance. But I don't even know if I would consider, I consider ours erotic. Because ours is erotic. I would say erotic romance for sure. Yeah, the romance. romance. Yeah. Okay, I might. Yeah. 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 So in the last ten years, it, it just seems like you could only get erotic in one place. It was like a Laura's Cave and yeah. and, and and maybe some titles on Kindle. I think too, I just think the invention of the Kindle, the invention of the e-reader, the iPad, being able to read these books, um, and nobody knows what you're reading. Um, yeah. Because all they start blushing and, and you have a secret out smile. Out the exactly. Yeah. The secret yeah. smile. Like yeah. Christina listening to the audiobook on the plane, she was like, oh my god. Well, so normally when we what? finish a book, what? when we finish a book normally I'm like done with it, I don't go back and read it or something. Or she'll like listen to the audiobooks and stuff to see like maybe words or phrases or something we're repeating, but I don't. I, so, we were on a flight to New York and I was listening to Player and it was the scene where they're in the party and uh, it was so dirty. I I was there was a man next to me and I was like But you know, I know Kindle's have revolutionized it, but I think one of the differences too is that people aren't like embarrassed to walk around with their like, you know, saucy book that they used to. My mom used to tuck them away when people would come over. Yeah. Well it was hidden under your bed. He's reading my mom's books. Um, I, I, I have to say, and I have never commented on this publicly, it's like one of those things that I had truly blocked out in my past. I wrote um, a New Kids on the Block. <laughs> yes! That's you, awesome. What I now yeah. know is fan fiction um, when I was in junior high, and this mother butcher filled <laughs> probably 30 notebooks. And oh I'm, I'm not kidding. Who it was, was it? Oh, well, it was me. Um, and no way. It was me and Joey. Um, it was <laughs> me and my friend Paige. We would write this and then we would pass it back and forth and the next person would write the next chapter. And uh, it, it reads like such dreck. It's hysterical. First they came to town and they needed some new wardrobe assistants. So they hired us to go out on the road with them. And uh, <laughs> within like a month, I had dated Jordan, I had dated Joe, I got pregnant with Joe's baby, he pushed me down a flight of stairs, I lost the baby, and then I started dating Donnie because he was comforting me. How do I buy this? Shay. <laughs> Shay. It's like you're writing a diary. Yeah. If you're a pathological liar. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically a fan fiction. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. So yes. 